Yo, what's up everybody? This is Matt, mattpracedrumming.com. And in this lesson today, we're gonna break down an eight measure drum groove by Lewis Cole in the song, It Gets Funkier by Wolfpack. So if you haven't heard this song yet, what I'd like you to do is pause my video, go down into the description below and click the link to watch uh, Wolfpack play this song. Lewis Cole has this really like busy, intricate, precise funk style. And when I first heard the song, this drum break at like a minute and 50 seconds in really caught my ear. And I was like, all right, I gotta figure out what's going on here. So I dove in and uh, we're gonna talk about it today. When I first started learning this groove and transcribing it, um, I couldn't play the entire pattern with all the kick, snare, hi-hat stuff at full tempo. So I had to actually break it down and kind of create my own exercises in order to figure this out. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this lesson today. There is a link below to a PDF on my website that has all these exercises laid out. And we're not gonna go through all of them, but I do wanna highlight a few that really helped me. Exercise three is basically playing the 16th note groove on the kick drum and adding the hi-hat pattern that he plays throughout, which is basically uh, one and a two and three and a four and. And so I'm gonna demonstrate that and the rest of these examples at 70 beats per minute, 100 beats per minute, and then the full tempo of 126. So here's example three. All right, so example four is just isolating the hi-hat pattern, and he's basically playing this uh, one and a two and three and a four and, opening the hi-hat on the uh of one and three. And this was the most challenging part of this entire groove for me to figure out. So I had to isolate this and just, just work on it by itself. So here that is again at all three tempos. Exercise six is basically just the two hand parts together. So uh, he's playing this hi-hat pattern that we just looked at, and now he's adding a snare on the E of one, two E and a, uh, the E of three, four E, and then kind of like a ghosted buzz roll on the A uh of four. So here that is at three tempos. Exercise eight, we're gonna add the kick drum back into the pattern on one, the and of one, the uh of two, the and of three, and the e of four. So a lot of coordination going on here. Uh, so again, taking it slow is very important, even if you have to go slower than the suggested tempos that I have. So slow, repeat, don't forget to breathe. It gets funkier.
Exercise nine is the main groove that he's playing throughout this drum break. There are some variations on it, um, especially like the last measure. He does some pretty tricky kick, snare, hi-hat combinations. So you can look at that on the PDF, but I didn't want to dive deep into that measure because that could be a whole lesson of, on its own. If you can figure out exercise nine though and get it up to tempo, I think you'll be in pretty good shape to play this whole pattern. So uh, here it is at all three tempos. Like I said in the beginning, this is a tricky groove to get. Uh, it took me a lot of practice to get this. And as you can see from the examples, I'm still kind of struggling with staying loose and um, comfortable while playing it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button below and the notification because I am gonna be posting more content more frequently over the next couple of months and weeks. And I'm gonna probably post some stuff that's kind of uh, a hybrid of drum circle work that I've done and drum set stuff that I've done. So uh, some exercises that get into breathing and coordination as it's applied to the drum set. So thanks for watching everybody. Again, this is Matt, mattpricedrumming.com, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care.